everybody is this up coming in with another breakfast today. Can you guess what I'm finna make you guys? I didn't feel like shredding the cheese today, so we're gonna roll with that. That's spinach, tomatoes, and two eggs. So let's see what we could come up with with this, you guys. Of course, I'm pretty sure you guys that made this already know. But let's see how mine's turn out, okay? I'm incorporating some spinach. Y'all rinsed it off and dried it off and everything. And the tomatoes and everything. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys. This is two eggs. And normally, I'll cook my spinach. But today, we just going all in, honey, with fresh spinach. You can tell it's starting to wilt. So, it's time to use it up. I've been using it, but... I have a whole nother container in there I need to use up as well, you guys. So, my hands are clean. Of course, honey. I don't play that. But, yeah. So, this is how we working with this right here, you guys. So far, this is where we at. Okay. Then, I'm going to do this. This is just the way I'm doing, man. I guess this is a cooking, a morning breakfast cooking vlog. Okay, so yeah, that's the way I'm doing man, okay, sorry, there you go, so okay you guys, I'll be back in and show you the next step, stay tuned, okay you guys, it's been flipped, check that out, a two egg omelet, I always put water with man, I don't know why, but now I'm adding my cheese because, like I told you before, I didn't feel like shredding it. But I wasn't even going to feel like making this. But I'm like, I bought the spinach and the eggs for a reason, you guys. So, a lot of cheese, yeah. Am I going to eat this whole omelet? No. Not right now. I'm going to eat half now and half later. That's how I do mine, you guys. Because normally I make one egg. But one time I made this, they was like, that don't look like no one egg. I mean... The omelet was one egg. It was a one egg omelet, but they was like, it looked like two eggs. This is what my two egg omelets look like. For the person who said that it was years ago, you guys. But yeah. Okay. So, that's the next step. I'm going to cut it down a little bit lower. I like mine to cook like this. I like it to have like that. Have it be brown like that on the other side. So, don't worry about that little butter. I'm going to put it on a paper plate. It's not going to be that oily, okay? But that's real butter, you guys. So I'll see you guys when it's all done. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, this is the end of result. I have put tomatoes on the inside before, but I'm going to eat them on the side of it, you guys. That's because that's the way I'm eating it today. And, of course, my sexiness. I have to. It's a must. I have to. Okay? There, and the only two seasonings I use, I'm going to show you. I put black pepper when it was on the inside before I closed it up. Just a little, you guys. I told you the seasoning take is blowing me a little bit. And on the inside of the eggs, when I scrambled them, I used some onion and herb, salt-free. I have a lot of salt-free items up here, you guys, or low sodium. But anyway, here you go. Breakfast at SRQ, a two-egg omelet, my way. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And share my video, you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's SRQ. I came in to show you my birthday cupcakes that I received from a friend that worked at the bakery. She sent me these birthday cupcakes, you guys. Look at them. Y'all know my honey work at the bakery and the lady sent me these because we gave her a Christmas gift. So look at my cupcakes. Look at them, you guys. I love the happy birthday things on them. This one got messed up on the way, so I just put the icing back on it and stuck the happy birthday on there. But I just wanted to come in and share with you my first birthday gift, you guys. See you in the next clip.